living, I can't help it. No, I'm out here hitting licks and moving away. I'm living selfish. I just focus on that money. Trying to get what's up, Legend Babes? I am back with another video, and I know I haven't posted in a long time, and I look crazy because I just got out of class. So, anyway, I haven't posted in a long time. Excuse that noise, that's my dog. Excuse me. So I haven't posted on because we finally moved into our apartment. We got like a little bit more moving, not moving actually, but like decorating to do. And we're gonna be situated. So right now, I'm making us a headboard for our guest room. I already made ours. I'm gonna put like a little clip in right now. That clip was actually our king size bed for our room. I made it and that was my first time doing it. I didn't measure nothing, really. I just did it off of what I thought was right, kind of. Um, also, okay, so now I'm doing it for our guest room and the measurement's kind of different. Um, some stuff you might need is a glue gun. It's not in here, but I got this glue gun for $13 at uh, Walmart, at our nearest Walmart. And it come with like a little chargeable port. You can, you know, a big old glue gun. When I first did our other one, I was actually using a mini, a mini glue gun. So it took forever to do. Don't do that, y'all. Okay? It takes forever. Um, so I measured it and I only need a lot, one large box. It's like a dollar at Walmart. A dollar is some change. One large box and... To right here, y'all can see this little crack to right here to make it for my queen size bed and I guess room. So I'm just cutting with some scissors and we're gonna get started. Oh, also with the um, tools, you're gonna need uh, some fabric. Our goal, I mean our goal, our theme in our apartment right now is pink, gold, and white. The one let me choose what I wanted, so I did pink, gold, and white. So the bedding is gonna be gold. Okay, and this stretchy material, I got two yards. It was six dollars for uh one yard, so the total came out to thirteen dollars, thirteen ninety four. Okay, you're gonna need some duct tape, some hot glue sticks, or cuffs for the hot glue, um, some staples. We got multiple staple jars because we didn't know how to use a staple glue until I did this. Well, I'm not gonna say we. I didn't know how to use a staple glue, so it took me forever to figure out. What the heck I would do? And some scissors, because then we're going to cut the box and cut the fabrics and all of that. Also, the major part of this, you're going to need some foam. I chose to get the one inch foam. However, you could choose whatever size you want, how thick you want it. Um, I got a one inch and a one and a half inch. This one was $15, this one was $9. So, really only got this one just in case. And if you fold it in half, like I did in that last video I showed y'all, you'll see, it'll make one inch. Da -da. So now I'm gonna start by cutting it because I only need this much. I measured it to my bed to see how much I need it. And that's how much I need it. So just cut it. And I would prefer, so you won't break your scissors, use a, um, a box opener. Actually, I need to get some different scissors because this is not gonna work. Everyone say hello to Mama Trina. That is my mother-in-law. She is helping me cut the box. Like she pulling it while I cut it, kind of to make it easier for me because I was really struggling. So thank you, Mama Trina. opener because this was super hard my hands started getting tired if y'all know me y'all know my arms get tired like super fast so this was stressing me the heck out I'm just trying to cut the box because like you know it's two it's a car it's two uh layers of the cardboard so it makes it really really hard to cut the 
is how much I'm gonna have left over after I cut the box. Um, I am using the smaller side only because this is a queen bed, so I'm not gonna use that much. So in this video, I am actually wearing something different as y'all can see, because I made this video when I was making our king uh, headboard. So I did record this video, I just never uploaded it because I was in a rush and I didn't have time to finish this video so I'm just gonna mix them together because some of my camera died so I didn't get to actually finish recording some of the parts of me taping when I was wearing the other outfit so right now I'm just taping up the flaps just so it won't be flappy and it won't be no you can't see any extra lines through the headboard <laughs> right now putting tape on the floor it's just so the blocks won't move in the how I overlap them they won't move because I had it at a perfect position of how it could fit on my bed so right now I'm just hot glue gunning it the uh, boxes together then I'm gonna go over it again with tape just to make sure they actually together they won't move their um, one you know so yeah that's the, my next step getting tired and <laughs> and like the tape was not acting right y'all so he had to come help me because he was tired of looking at me and struggle <laughs> already there that is actually the one inch and the piece that I'm having to fold and everything is the half inch because I needed a little bit more but not a lot so I ended up folding it and cutting it and then hot gluing everything down along the cardboard box <laughs> wasn't doing nothing and it kept running out of glue sticks like every time 
I, as soon as I pulled the little trigger, it was running out of glue. So y'all use like a big full size glue gun to do this. Cause if not, you're gonna be taking forever like me. surface that's how I should look underneath so for the next step all I'm doing is making X's where I want my little tufts to go and I'm doing it one hand, like a hand away from each other. I don't have no rulers or nothing else, so I just nigga rigged it and thought that's what I should do. So all I'm doing is making X's and you're gonna see what I do after that. when I made the king one I actually did not add a lot of X's at all so it was like really spaced out okay y'all so in this step all I am doing is cutting out squares where I put the X's that's where my tufts are gonna be and make sure that you cut it all the way to the cardboard okay so once you cut it out pull that little um, foam out and make sure that you can touch the cardboard because you want the fabric to actually staple you want to staple the fabric onto that cardboard to give something to pinch on. 
process of all of them like my hands was getting so tired i think that's why when i made our hair board i didn't put this many dots because i was like i'm not cutting all this shit out and now i see why you see how i keep changing my hands because my hands was fucking tired like <laughs> work okay okay make sure y'all cut out all the dots okay because y'all see i left one of those dots uncut and it actually pissed me off because you can see it in my headboard. If it's not cut, you cannot staple through that, okay? If you do, you could try to staple through it. It's just not gonna show up, like it's gonna come out, okay? So in this step, all I'm doing is stretching out the fabric. This fabric is very stretchy. Um, I recommend stretchy fabric because you won't need as much of it. So all y'all see me doing is uh, spreading the fabric out over the headboard and just stretching it. And all I'm about to do is staple gun it. It's usually better when you do have somebody else help you because it, you make it as stretchy as possible. You know, you stretch it to the limits. Right here, I didn't, so it was kind of a little coming up a little bit. It wasn't as pulled tight as I wanted to look. this headboard because it was taking me forever what i did on this part was flip the fabric over and staple it down um i probably should have did this part last like did the other side first and then did this one but you can do it any way you want to it's just you just stapling fabric down okay so i flipped it over and uh, tried to pull it really tight when I could have cut it because it was kind of a lot of fabric still left on that part. because it was a queen so usually I get two yards for a king and I guess I only need a one and a half yards for this queen <laughs> final step y'all all you're gonna do is search around the board find out where the holes are so you can staple gun them into staple gun where the hole is 
and it's gonna make a tip. So you see, I found a hole. I'm gonna hold it and staple gun it. I did mine twice just to give it more security. Um, that's pretty much it, y'all. You just gonna find all the holes and staple them everywhere two times. <laughs>